This short clip gives you insight into the use of the bidirectional CAT interface between ANSYS Workbench and the CAT system CreoParametric 2.0. Therefore, a cutting tool for milling will be considered, which comes with a small amount of unbalance either resulting from inaccuracies in production or from mechanical wear. Considering the unbalance together with high rotational speed during operation, a reduced manufacturing accuracy of the cutting tool and hence production quality is the consequence. One can find a remedy by removing material with the help of an exactly positioned grinding in order to compensate the unbalance. Using geometrical parameters in the CAT system cryoparametric, defining the position of the grinding, an optimum of the unbalance compensation can be achieved. The minimization of the support reaction forces as an indicator of manufacturing accuracy leads to an increase of production quality by meeting tight tolerances. Let's begin with a milling head geometry in Cryoparametric 2.0. The unbalance, which might be measured by unbalance sensors, will be implemented in the geometry as a small hole. In the tab ANSYS15, the transfer button will start transferring the active cryoparametric geometry into the ANSYS Workbench environment. ANSYS Workbench provides the framework for different analysis types such as computational fluid dynamics or structural mechanical systems and their organization. Also, a coupling of analysis systems is controlled via the project page. On the project page, one can link easily a structural mechanical analysis with geometry by dragging the analysis block onto the geometry block. After that, the model setup can be edited. In the simulation environment, we have the graphic window, the structure tree with all relevant data for the model description, and a details window with detailed information about the current selection in the structure tree. Loads and boundary conditions have to be defined. This is, on the one hand, a rotational velocity of 10,000 rotations per minute. On the other hand, we have a fixed support at the cone-shaped support. After solving, one can analyze the deformation and, for example, the equivalent stress. Moreover, we can evaluate the reaction forces at the support. The reaction force is, as already mentioned, used as an indicator for manufacturing accuracy of the milling head. It can be seen that the amount of about 370 Newton reaction force is quite considerable. In a second step, the milling head geometry will be changed in a way that material will be removed by grinding in order to analyze the unbalance compensation. Therefore, two different parameters will be used to define the position of the grinding. One parameter, the angle, controls the location in circumferential direction, whereas the other parameter controls the depth of the grinding. In case of a large number of parameters, the user will be supported by a parameter import filter which checks arbitrarily defined prefixes of the parameter names. Therefore, both parameters are renamed.
On the project page, we want to link the modified milling head assembly with the grinding with an analysis block. We duplicate the geometry and make an update from the CAD file. We ensure that parameters will be transferred and also that the right prefix for the parameter import filter is set. One advantage by this method is that all previously defined boundary conditions and loads are still present in the analysis system. Geometrical parameters are listed in the details window of the related geometry and will be activated by ticking the parameter checkbox. Furthermore, the maximum of the reaction force at the support should become an output parameter. Regarding the project page, the graphical representation indicates the presence of input and output parameters. After solving the current FE model, it turns out that the reaction force nearly decreased by the factor 2. Entering the parameter set, the user might define different design points to analyze the influence of different input parameters on the specified evaluation parameters. For example, with the following values. By only one click, all design points will be solved and evaluated. The evaluation of the manually defined design points takes only a short time and yields to a significant decrease of the support reaction forces compared to the initial geometry setup. A more sophisticated workflow to meet optimization goals or to evaluate the sensitivity of input parameters would be the utilization of optimization tools in ANSYS Workbench. To conclude, the bidirectional CAT interface between ANSYS Workbench and Creo Parametric enables us to efficiently control geometry parameters in ANSYS Workbench. It allows us to carry out conveniently a design study inside one software environment, inside ANSYS Workbench. Now, it's up to you to develop with the help of the bidirectional CAD interface an optimal design.